Okay, boys, I want to bring up something. An Rot. anime topic. All right. That's all right. Oh, wow. I know. Wow. But this one is this one I'm actually excited for because Dun Da Dun just got announced for an anime today. Holy and shit. I'm so fucking hyped. I just saw that as because well. Because it's Science Saru. Bro. I know. Dude. What? It's Science Saru. Who's that? It's uh, fucking, what's his name? Ping Pong uh, the Animation. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, oh. Or if the, sorry. Yeah, Atomic Galaxy. Galaxy. Basic, yeah. Basically, basically the weird studio. Yeah, yeah. Nice. are doing Dawn to Dawn, and the oh, trailer looks cool. sick as fuck. I haven't seen the trailer yet. Oh, dude, but, it's uh, insane. Yeah, I actually got the chance to read the first few chapters of Dawn to Dawn on stream, yeah. and it is wild. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't know what Dawn to Dawn is, I believe it's a Shonen Jump. Jump Plus. Well, Jump Plus. I believe. Manga. Yeah. Uh, and it's from one of the editors, not not editors, assistants, what, assistants of the Chainsaw Man author. Tatsuki Fujimoto. And I don't know what was going on in that studio when he was making like Chainsaw Man or whatever, or whatever manga they were all working on together, but every artist or every <laughs> author has come from that studio Dude. has just made like the, like, the weirdest banger manga. His assistants ever... don't miss. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Legit. No one on that team has missed so far. Cause the other, the other assistant uh, was, um, was he the guy who made um, uh, Hell's Paradise? Hell's Paradise. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. So they, like they all wow. come. From, they all came from, came from the same a stacked group. Of I know. <laughs> they don't miss me. <laughs> yeah. But Don really, Don. I, really, I really enjoyed Hell's Paradise. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I did too. And I think you'd really like Don Don as well because yeah, it's I think absolutely so. fucking wild. Especially yeah. if, if that studio is making it. I'll, I'll, I mean, <sighs> yeah. Ping Pong Animation is one of my yeah. favorites. Yeah. Because uh, it's like stoked. from the first four. They also make Devilman Crybaby. Yes. Yes. I also love Devilman Crybaby. I'm trying to remember the fucking director's name. Um, What's what the fuck's his M, name? M. Marco Ma uh, Mus <sighs> Fuck Masa Yuasa Yuasa Masaki Mas Masaki Yuasa Masaki that's Yuasa it. Yeah, that's it. yeah. <laughs> That's it, that's yeah. it, yeah. I don't know if Yuas is directing this one, but it's from his studio. Yeah, it's from his studio. Yeah, Science Star. Uh, so most most recently, I actually saw the, uh, or I actually seen a few episodes of the Scott Pilgrim anime. That's- uh, Oh yeah, what's the first on. episode of that? Yeah. Yeah, it's- It's good. Was weird. I, think, <laughs> I, I It's weird, but I, I kind of fucked with it. I thought it was I just an interesting a, take. Just saw a lot of people on Twitter arg arguing about it. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I, I didn't know about <laughs> like the arguments or the controversy around it. So I went to, to it completely blind. Mm. Um, and I don't know what I was expecting. And I don't know whether I liked it or not. I Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I've only seen the first episode, so it's hard to discern whether yeah. I like it or not, but I think I'm going to like it. I yeah. don't know that. Also, it is weird. I also saw that my analyst wouldn't, wouldn't label it as, as anime. Yeah, which is dumb. That's, oh, really? That, that to me is dumb. They, they said it wasn't intended for the Japanese audience. Yeah. And that's how they decide if something's anime, if it's for the Japanese the fuck? audience. <laughs> which is bizarre, because Japan would be like, what the fuck? What are you which talking is, which about? Which is yeah. like the weirdest mental gymnastics uh, I've seen. Yeah, they'll do yeah. everything to just say shit's not anime. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> yeah, they were like, they were like, oh, there, there must be something in here. Oh, it's uh, it wasn't made by Japanese people. Well, actually oh, it's got, it was. It's got uh, Chris Evans in yeah, here, yeah. Uh, uh, which makes it uh, for white people. Yeah, no, <laughs> like the Scott Pilgrim uh, takes off is an anime, it was made. In, uh, was animated in Japan. Yep. It was storyboarded by Japanese people, people working, it, like, it was basically an all Japanese team. Mm. Uh, and you could tell that because one of the biggest things that bothered me about uh, about it was the lip flaps just didn't match. Oh. And mm. I, it was so obvious that the recordings was done at a different times from when the lip flaps were like finished mm. because it, this must be how like Japanese people feel. I don't know. <laughs> like to, like well, in, in, in Japanese anime, generally the, Lip flaps don't always match up. They're not, yeah. they're not nearly. But they're also about basic it. enough where it, even if they don't necessarily yeah. match up, it still feels more natural. I guess. Yeah, it mm. works. I, I don't know how it works, but it, it weirdly works. But they yeah. don't. They don't really care about the flaps having to match perfectly. But in yeah. English, yeah. we very much we do care. Yeah, uh, and I didn't think I would notice it until I started noticing it, and I, then I couldn't stop <laughs> noticing it. Well, now that you've said that, I <laughs> didn't notice it while watching it. Now I'm going to. So yeah. thanks for that. Yeah, it, it, it's, it was. It wasn't like every time, but it just like sometimes it would just like be like a tiny bit off or something. I'd yeah. be like, ah, oh, this is what it's like watching originally dubbed anime, I guess. This is why I had a really hard time playing Final Fantasy 16 in Japanese because they lip synced it to the English voice acting. Oh yeah. So yeah. when I was playing it and I saw the cutscenes, I'm just like, shit, I can't concentrate on this because they, I can read the lips and they're saying something else yeah. to what I'm hearing. I, and I, it's so off putting. I remember watching Scott Pilgrim the movie and I thought it was pretty good. Mm. But then on Twitter, I keep seeing this thing about him dating like a 17 year old or something. And I'm like, I don't remember that. Am I yeah, dumb? Yeah, Knives was 17. 
I uh, think she was. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was. She was in high school, right? That was I, that was the whole. That, that yeah, was the whole thing. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. That was the huh. whole thing. Yeah, I just don't remember that being a big deal. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just remember watching it, and I was like, I guess it's. Well, makes when sense. did when does Scott Pilgrim come out? Like the the original movie? Um, twenty ten. Yeah, twenty nine, twenty ten. Yeah. Oh, holy shit, that was long. Oh my god, that was thirteen yeah, years. It was ago. a good movie. Yeah. I, I thought it was an amazing movie. Yeah. Uh, it still is like one of- Edgar Wright. Yeah, I think it's. I think this was on my three by three, I think, uh, for one of my Toronto, favorite movies. 22 year old Scott Pilgrim is a bass player for Unsick Underground. He is dating Knife Chow, 17. <laughs> 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 I do, I totally <laughs> forgot that. Yeah, I think the thing about the new Scott Pilgrim anime that I couldn't get my, I couldn't fully invest into, I guess, mm. was I think I realized I really, really fucking like the film, mm. but also I think I'm perfectly satisfied with the film. Yeah, you're you like, know? yeah. I didn't add much. And yeah, yeah. And th Scott Pilgrim takes off, goes like a completely different direction to the film. It like gives more time for to explore each like evil X and whatever, and mm. actually less time with Scott Pilgrim, uh, which is I think a big thing that people were mad about. Which is uh, at least where I've gotten to. Scott Pilgrim is barely in it yeah. at all. It's always a gamble, isn't it? When you have like a new adaptation of a show that is, you know, highly praised, beloved, and yeah. people expect the story to go exactly in that same direction. And then when they do, uh, yeah. uh, you know, they flip the dime on and they're like, actually we're going to go in a slightly different direction. Mm. Yeah. Then people are like, why? why? Why would you try and fix something that's not broken? Yeah. yeah. The anime is very highly reviewed though. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's pretty a, high. It's, it's interesting, definitely. Yeah. I, I, I think it's it was just weird where I was watching it and I was like, I guess I'm enjoying this, but mm. I think I'd rather just rewatch the movie. Mm. I was like, I, I, have, <laughs> I have my personal emotional attachment to the movie. Yeah. And this is going like a completely different direction. And I was like, uh, maybe I'm just not, maybe I just wouldn't be a fan of the comics. I don't know if this is mm. more faithful to the original comics mm. and the movie, but I think the reason I really liked the movie was not so much the storyline, but just cause of Edgar Wright. Oh, Edgar Wright uh, Because I think, good. I think that was the reason why I yeah. really, really fucking like Scott Pilgrim. Mm. Um, and this has a bit of quirkiness to it, but nothing that really compares to the crazy shit that Edgar Wright did. Well, that's always right. scary though, isn't it? Like, cause you know, I'm kind of feeling the same way about the upcoming uh, Avatar The Last Airbender series, like the live action yeah, series. Yeah, the Netflix one. Yeah, because it's series? like, yeah they're, yeah, they're they're doing a proper, like not with fucking Shyamalan this time. Uh, well, because the fucking Shyamalan live action is the only thing we had and that was the worst thing in the planet. But why do we need to remake it? I don't get why, why are we remaking it? I think it's just because for a lot of people, it's extremely nostalgic and people actually want to see like, I don't know if people are asking for it, but I, I think- don't, I don't want to see it. Yeah, but I think that the, <laughs> I think the creators of the series of the original animation, wanted to actually do like a proper live action. They wanted to like bring it back in a way that they'd be happy with. I would uh, I would be down for it mm. if it wasn't following the original James Cameron storyline. Because mm. I think the weird thing about Avatar for me is- Wait, wait, <laughs> James Cameron. Oh, no, we're talking about different avatars? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. We're not, wait, what are we talking about? We're not about? talking about the blue people avatar. <laughs> We're talking about an Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait. I was like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's why I was like, they're making an Avatar TV show? What? I thought they were already making four films of this shit. Bro was, bro was cooking on five minutes figuring out what to say. It took me a second to be like, something's off about this. <laughs> Why would they make a TV series about already a live action movie? That's what I was trying to like get my head around. When, Cause you were like, oh, they're making an Avatar TV series. That made, that's why I'm really worried. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can understand why you're worried. I would be worried as well if they were making a James Avatar, James Cameron Avatar TV series. But I was about to like defend it because I was like, Avatar has an interesting world that doesn't- Oh my God, okay. no. Okay, I'm talking about The Last Airbender. Fucking Jake Sully, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I just think Jake Sully would be fine if he was an Earthbender. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see Jake <laughs> Sully in live action. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're remaking uh, Avatar. The last last Airbender. Bender. Oh God. We yeah. Probably, uh, to be fair, we probably should have said that. I did say that. He just isn't listen. You said, listen. No, you said Avatar. You didn't say yeah, Avatar. I think you did. I definitely Avatar. said Last Airbender. Okay, I didn't know they were making. Well, didn't didn't they already make a live action movie of this? Yeah, the yeah, Shyamalan awesome. movie, and it was one of the worst rated movies like of the two thousands. Uh, so in my head, in my head, I'm like, I don't want. 
I feel like it just doesn't need a live action. But to then, be fair, but then I, I said that about One Piece. And, yeah. And it was very to good. be fair, I did watch the uh, the trailer for it because they released the trailer for the yeah. new one. Mm. It, I mean, f obviously, it looks so much better than the Shanghai movie. Like, not even a question. And, but I am like kind of this keeping is, a healthy amount of skepticism to it this, as well. This because is like One Piece has like the One Piece live action was the double edged sword. I think because so. it proved to audiences that live action animations. Could work, yeah. And yeah. now I'm just like, oh. and now there's a scramble to like but remake it's, 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 all it's, of these. It's one diamond on a top of a pile of dog shit. You but know it, what I mean? it, like, it was the proof of concept. Yeah, that all yeah, they needed yeah. was one working you, example. You know what else is also a proof, proof of concept this year? Just mm. making original shit. Like original movies have been crushing it this year. Mm. It's been such a good year for like if you are a, a Marvel and fucking dog shit Disney uh, hater, mm. which I am. Uh, I'm have, so happy have that original these... movies been crushing it this year. Yeah. I already... uh, Oppenheimer. I, know, I already know Oppenheimer. Barbie. Uh, well, Barbie. I don't really Rob, count Barbie as original. <laughs> although, although I, I, the concept of the film is original, so I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. give it that. You know, we. Uh, it's an original story. The Martin Scorsese film came out, although it wasn't. I thought it was a bit long. That's it's done really well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a few other movies this year that have done really well, but generally, like a lot of these big productions that would only ever do well have not been new, not not so well. Mm. Yeah. Which uh, it's nice to kind of feel like it's kind of changing a little bit. And, I, and it's just showing that, hey, I think audiences now, I think we're, they're tired of remakes. I think we're tired. Yeah, I think totally. as a collective audience, we are we just want new ideas. We're not- well, Especially yeah. after all the fucking live action Disney remakes as well. It's like, I think that was the real nail in well, the Well, yeah, like this year like, we've had done. the fucking Little Mermaid remake, uh, yeah. you know, uh, and, and even then the original stuff feels so, um, uh, reg like regurgitative. We had the Pinocchio remake come yeah. out the last Pinocchio year. The Pinocchio was pretty good. Oh, really? I didn't see it. it it's like a totally different uh, retelling of Pinocchio. Wait, they did a remake of Peter Pan um, this year? What? Isn't that isn't that uh, like one of those like garbage Peter movies Peter Pan there? and Wendy. I'd never even Peter heard Pan of and Wendy. The fuck? Okay, <laughs> never remakes aside, because nobody gives a fuck. Uh, what I did watch that was uh, very good and mm. original and anime. Oh. Uh, Pluto, watch Pluto. Oh yeah. Oh, you finished it? Yeah, I finished it. Oh shit, I'm like only it? like two episodes in. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah, I fucking loved it. Yeah, I think it's pretty my insane. favorite anime I've watched this year. Oh dude, it's oh, it's yeah. sort of solid, man. He doesn't uh, miss. Yeah. It's so fucking good. And yeah. I knew nothing about Astro Boy. Mm. Uh, I, I didn't even know that was supposed to be Astro Boy yeah. Yeah. until I finished it. Yeah, that's yeah. The, the, but that's what was so smart on Urasawa when he yeah. was writing Pluto is that he made sure that you don't have to do, know anything about Astro Boy I to really, be invested really, in really the story. And, 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 and you, want, you want to know something? What? Like Pluto is probably like, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of common consensus that Pluto is one of his weakest works. What? Yeah. And, and like, right, it's right. It's that or Billy Bat. Yeah, that or like Billy Bat. Two and, and I'm which like, are both amazing. And I'm like, this is your weakest fighter? <laughs> Which, I, which I I really liked it. I think the ending was a little little bit rushed, but yeah. the rest of it I I really really liked. Mm. Yeah, I mean I I remember what seeing the first two episodes of it. I just oh he my God, is I love such it. he is such a master when it comes to building a mystery yeah. and suspense. It was like the the pilot of the episode was so good. I, I just loved the scene where they had this kind of like Silence of the Lamb kind of like interview with like the robot that mm. killed somehow. So it's it's kind of a sci-fi world where robots are in human society. And of course, robots can't kill humans, uh, except for one robot that has proven to be able to kill humans in the past uh, and have like the Silence of the Lambs kind of like interview with him. I fucking love that character. And that was such a, that was mm. such a, like an interesting character mm. study, He's right? He's just so good at writing the most interesting like villains. Yeah. as well like because like i don't know how he did because like you know monster obviously johan is like an amazing example of it but even you know the robot character in pluto like he, Wait, just, he wrote he wrote monster yeah yeah he wrote monster i didn't know that yeah <laughs> he wrote monster he did monster 20th century boys what yeah, yeah which okay, are like considered shit, right. his, so the, yeah that's what you're going up against yeah. oh shit okay. yeah this, this, this man shit. this man is good okay. he is the goat yeah, yeah. The but like you know he's so good at writing not only just like interesting and multi-layered villains but just mm. villains that you it's it you can take time with getting to know mm. and it, i don't know how he does it like and this is one thing i've always been like extremely uh, fascinated with and have so much respect for mystery writers and mm. stuff like that is that like the really good mystery writers are able to build up this mystery in a nice slow easy to process way was, yeah. without it spoiling anything yeah yeah, yeah there's you know? such like faith in you as the audience to to be engaged as yeah. well that they didn't it didn't have to go crazy right away. Yeah. yeah. It was very willing to like allow you to kind of just be like, hey, here's a little bit of what's yeah. going he on. He can yeah. sprinkle here's just enough hints to get you hooked 
where without spoiling yeah. a large majority I of really, why he is really, like really that. really liked it. And He's so good at that. In an age where a lot of anime kind of feel like it's just kind of samey. rushed, rushed yeah. together, samey mm -hmm. and yeah. almost unintentional. Uh, everything felt very, very intentional in this show. That oh I really, yeah, yeah. I, every single- He doesn't part, waste any time. Yeah, every yeah. part of the yeah. show just felt amazing. And I yeah. really, really enjoyed it. And uh, please watch Pluto if you haven't. It's no, it's, so it's amazing. So it's good. definitely, I don't the know- manga is great I don't well. know where it would rank, but it's definitely like one of my, it's going to be, I already know one of my favorite anime of the year. Yeah. Uh, Cause I think uh, one thing I love about how he introduces story is that he's one of the few people who you can be like really invested in this like main, like a plot line. And then I don't know where he'll just like switch to a different character. And you're like, <laughs> why the fuck would I give a shit about this character? Who is he? Why does he matter? And then you get invested into this separate storyline yeah. and you're like, oh shit, I'm invested in this. Yeah. And then at the end, he's like, actually, this is why this relates to the first story. And you're like, holy shit. 20th Century Boys was like nothing but that. Oh, and, yeah, and that, was, that was that. And it was done so incredibly <laughs> yeah, well. Like yeah. every character, as you said, every character and everything they said, everything they did had some kind and of it meaning. built up to like a grand storyline. Yeah. Oh my God, he's so good. He's so fucking That's good. why he's the GOAT. And yeah. it felt like a complete package, which I, I really mm. feel like I've been missing a lot in anime lately where yeah. I'm so used to watching half a season and then it, it gets delayed or whatever. And I know that's yeah. because of the conditions are, are dreadful right now, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, it really felt like this one, this show had a time to cook. Like yeah, I yeah. really let it like, it came out when it was ready. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. manga like came that. out quite a while ago, I think. Yeah, so yeah, they've, been, they've been working on this for a long, long time. It's a pretty old series, yeah. um, but I've heard that, I've heard that if this one does well, which go yeah. watch it, so it does do well. 2003 yeah. it came out. Uh, they they would like to adapt more of uh, Naoki Urasawa's work. 20th Century Boys. When and are we getting an anime of 20th Century Boys? If they are able to adapt his magnum opus, in my opinion, which is 20th Century Boys, I will literally come. <laughs> uh, that's not a euphemism. Yeah, I, 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 I will off. just come. I, I, I literally- I will actually watch anime if, <laughs> if he does that. <laughs> Even Billy Bad as well, which is a, another fantastic Urasawa manga. Like if, if they do a good adaptation of that, which might be a little bit harder, just yeah. because a lot of the characters are not human in that. Uh, but yeah, pe pe people need to read more Urasawa shit. And like, it's yeah. so yeah. underrated. I, I like it when- Concepts are explored de like decently. Sometimes they, they they some shows try to talk about morality, and it comes from a point that I just I really am like okay sure <laughs> yeah like yeah. hard to one, relate to oh yeah well, not even hard to relate to but just it feels like the the nuance the show is struggling to express the idea uh, yeah. like fully mm. uh, and it really felt like this one kind of nailed every single kind of like moral conundrum it was trying to present to you as the audience yeah yeah, yeah I really for enjoyed sure. it. so please watch Pluto because I want more of his shows because yeah. I. Yep. Don't want to read it. And watch Monster as well. Also great anime. Monster's also fat. I didn't mm -hmm. know he was Monster. Well, yeah. Monster's great. Monster's just too slow though. To, it's kind of hard to recommend. It's a bit of a slow burner, I it's think. It's 70 today's episodes standards, yeah. and 30 of them are very slow. <laughs> I mean, read the manga. Manga is probably better, but read 20th Century Boys. Well, read 20th Century Boys. I, like well, I, I, I should read it. I you should read 20th Century Boys. 20th Century Boys isn't just my favorite manga. I think it's just my favorite story that's ever been written. Uh, genuinely, like it's. I can't disagree with you on. Yeah, that, I mean, honestly. it's it's it's, so uh, it's like from a critical perspective, it's an absolute masterpiece. But also, for all the ideas it explores, it's just like really personally related to me as well. Um, Even the live action was good for yeah. 20th Century Boys. It's, it's so weird because he. Cause he's a musician, right? So music was like a big kind of like aspect in 20th Century Boys. Uh, and like the fact that he just wrote a song in a manga. Yeah. <laughs> for, he wrote he wrote his own song for a manga. And I'm just like, but I respect it. But how, how, where the fuck did you get this idea from? Urasao <laughs> so, Naoki and Inio Asano, the only yeah. two people who can do that. And they're both goats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah.